Hi Anna, my name is Tatiana. I'm 35 and I live in West Berkshire. I have a young family and uh, I'm very afraid for for their future and I don't agree with this new normal. Uh, we've been told what to do and when to see our family and when to go out and you know it's just simply um, unacceptable. I, um, I have family in Russia which are uh, fully awake, same as me. Um, I started doing research a while back um, before before the lockdown and uh, as lockdown progressed I researched more and more and I was listening to a lot of American doctors uh, mainly and um, um, then I came across uh, London Real Brian Rose and also joined um, a couple of other groups on Facebook uh, who were questioning the narrative and I, then I came across um, uh, Keep Britain Free and I joined the movement now and, um, and I'm, I'm hoping that we can somehow win against the, the tyranny but it's it's been hard because the family, my the English side of the family um, that we have here is um, that I have here is um, not doesn't want to listen to um, different point of view. They you know they just don't question what's going on. They just think that we'll go back to new normal soon uh, to uh, to normal soon. That he, you know the We'll, you know, we'll go back to old normal, uh, and that's really not not the case anymore. I actually, <coughs> excuse me, I actually went to a uh, hospital recently for my eye appointment, and I was talking to the optometrist, and he was saying that how during the lockdown that he was seeing one patient a day if that and then he would do nothing for the rest of the day how many people now in a worse position than they were before the lockdown and um, they have to wear all the PPE now and it's just ridiculous and he said that if he is against it and he said it's not necessary and all, all these measurements they've introduced and he said if if he goes against it, that he'll be disciplined. That he he doesn't know many people, but he knows probably about six people who had COVID uh, or were to tested positive for it, and uh, that he um, he only knows about one that died. Um, but yeah, he's um, he's been disagreeing with what's been happening as well and he actually agreed to with me when I said um, the law of NHS staff has been silenced and he definitely agreed with that and they, they, they're trying to induce fear and, and now what, what happened today after today's announcements is completely I don't know what, what to say about that, it just, just angers me so much that people just go go along with it and they just don't question anything they've been told my colleague my colleague um, at work said that we must listen what government tells us to do we must listen to them we must do as, as we're told and that's quite scary mm. so yeah so I've been I've been encouraged by a lot of people speaking out and um, I'm grateful for people coming out and voicing um, voicing themselves and um, I'm actually gonna go uh, my husband and I are actually gonna go to um, on Saturday tomorrow to London um, in Hyde Park and join the peaceful gatherings and um, we must do something about it we can't just sit back and wait for somebody to save us and we must fight back and um, we'll be free.
thank you